dearest children, Christmas time is a very special time indeed. It is a time meant to be filled with silent nights and peaceful days. A feeling of love and kindness fills the air. It is a time we celebrate the birthday of Jesus, God with us. Jesus was born at a time we call Christmas. When he grew to be a young man, Jesus spoke to people about how to love each other. He taught people to be charitable and kind, giving to others easily, especially in times of great need. This is a story about a faithful man who believed in Jesus and became a kindly example of giving in time of need. His name was Nicholas. He was so good that people called him Saint Nicholas. And in our story, he is known as Pirate Saint Nicholas. Hello, my name is Dragon. I'm a dear friend of Saint Nicholas, here to tell you more of our story. In a faraway land, there lived a king named King Popper, who had a beautiful daughter, Princess Annabelle. They lived happily together, but worked very hard to put bread on the table and send Princess Annabelle to the finest school in the land. The king lost most of his riches by spending his money on selfish material goods and bad investments. Princess Annabel was a great cook. In fact, she dreamed of becoming the greatest chef in the whole countryside. So King Popper sold many of his possessions to send Princess Annabel to the finest cooking school to fulfill her dreams. King Popper would secretly sing this song whilst his daughter was away studying hard at school. Help the poor. Won't you help poor me? I need help from you, dear people. Need it desperately. I need so much help. I need your care. Need all the loving help that you can spare. Help me to provide for my dear daughter. To prepare for the day she marries. And provide a grand dowry for my dear daughter. Say that you will. Say you'll help me in my plight. I can't make it any longer. I'm begging with tears through the night. If you say you love Jesus, please help poor me. I need your help, dear people. Need it desperately. The people heard the cries of poor King Popper and sang back in one voice, encouraging the king to look not at how rich or poor he is, but to look with eyes of faith and trust in God, especially in time of need. Annabelle returns home from Christmas break. Father, I have longed to see you. It is so good to be home. You provide so much for me and I am forever grateful. We were once very rich, and you lost money through hard times, yet you managed to help me through school. I love you, dear Father, and thank you for your love, and all that you have taught me about loving God. So many people at school think that I am rich, and want to be my friend. If they knew that we are not rich, I wonder if they would still be my friend. I don't want any material gifts for Christmas, except our precious time together. I have a plan to make a fantastic feast for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day dinner. We have much to be thankful for. I must go to the store and shop for groceries. Goodbye, Father. See you soon. Now there would lived a young pirate named Nicholas. He was a dashing young man, especially handsome, as he pranced through the snow on a one-horsed open sleigh. 
He lived in the north on a farm with reindeer. We were schoolmates, and our family shared many good times together. He was a prayerful young man who sailed the seas in good weather. One summer day at sea, he found a sunken ship filled with gold. Pirate Nicholas said that since the treasure had really belonged to someone else, and that he didn't work to earn it, he felt that it could be used to help others. So he brought it home and stowed it away in safekeeping. I like to play my guitar and sing about Jesus, especially at Christmas when we remember how dear he is to us now and throughout the year. My heart is full and I am so thankful to God for all that I have. I have heard about King Popper and how he is suffering the pains of near poverty. It appears that his daughter will never be allowed to marry without having a dowry to help support a family in marriage. I am moved with pity, but I have a plan. Whilst the family is sleeping soundly tonight, I shall pay them a secret visit. The gold treasure that I found in my voyages shall now be put to good use. Pirate Nicholas was a handsome man indeed. Because of his kind heart, many people around the countryside called him Saint Nick. I knew it to be true. I grew to love him more and more with every passing day. Now, Annabelle returned home from the food market and carried through with her promises to make a wonderful feast for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. She was the apple of her father's eye, a sheer delight, and a goodly woman at that. The meals have been spectacular, dear daughter, as usual. You will go far in life with your talent and your godly heart. Merry Christmas, dear daughter. I love you so very much. Oh, thank you, Father. I must go now and do my laundry before I turn to bed for the night. So I will bid a good night. Merry Christmas to you, dear father. So Annabelle washed and rinsed her stockings with care. She hung them over the fireplace to dry through the night. Then she walked to her bedroom to turn in for the night. On this silent night, she knelt down to pray before going to sleep, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, help my dear dad not to worry and to trust in you for everything. I love him so. Thank you, Lord, for the life you have given us. Without you, we are nothing. Amen. Pirate St. Nicholas arrived at the cottage of King Pauper and Prince Annabelle with a bundle of coins that were gold from the treasure he had saved. I have entered the house through their chimney since the fire is now extinguished. Ah, the stockings that are hung over the fireplace with great care is a good place to put these gold coins. They will surely find the gift of gold and have enough money for the dowry of Princess Annabelle. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Ho, ho, ho! St. Nicholas had a jolly laugh, especially when he was about giving gifts to help others. This brought him great joy to help others. In the years that went by, we grew to know each other better and better. His hands were so large, they reminded me of claws. I nicknamed him Santa Claus. Soon and very soon, we married, and together 
we continue to carry out the grand tradition of giving presents to children all over the world at Christmas time in thankfulness of the birth of Jesus and his message of hope, love, and peace. Are you ready for a visit from Santa Claus, dear children?